welcome back to another shrimp Sunday video. Today I am preparing the sh my mixed grade carbon really shrimps for my local fish store. So I'm going to go on and tell you guys what I'm doing. First off, what I've already done. I went ahead and emptied the water of the moss, the majority of the moss, and I went ahead and put some of the water from this container into these containers and put the moss in there. This is just defloating the tap water right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the shrimps in these and fill one bag at a time with some defluorinated tap then pull the, the cup of the shrimps and everything in the bag. I'm only going to fill it maybe quarter to half of the way up so it's not going to be that much but it should be enough that the shrimps will be kind of happy with enough oxygen. These are not breather bags, these are just typical poly bags. I got them from my local fish store yesterday. He said they're two millimeters so let's get on with this and I'll show, I'll show you guys kind of. This is just my method, it's not a how-to video. There's one shrimp there. I had never done this before, so that's why it's not a how-to video, because it's like, yeah, first time for me, but I just wanted to document it to see, to sh you know, share what I'm doing and keep you all updated. Now, the one I'm trying to catch now is a buried female. I decided I might treat them to a couple buried females so that, you know, maybe they could have a couple shrimplets in their tank and... Or maybe someone can take her home before the two weeks is up. They said they would keep them for like two weeks to make sure they're healthy and everything. So now if you will actually come out of the net, please, that would be appreciated. Thank you. There's two in that cup. I'm gonna put baby I'm gonna put five in each cup. There are a couple that aren't super colorful that I'm not gonna add. Because I don't want I don't want to give them any call shrimp. These are nice shrimp. They're not the highest quality. Like they're not like they're not like, you know, in crystal red grading quality tomes. They're not like a you know, a triple S or anything. They're just basic mix grade carbon really shrimp, but they are decent coloration and they are decent. Like I don't sell calls and I don't sell crap shrimp, so or as some would say, cop shrimp. That's what people are saying for crap nowadays, so. These are not cop shrimp. That should be four, is it? I've added four. I think I've added four, it looks like four. So I'm gonna add one more to the cup and then I'm going to move on to the next cup. These guys were in this gallon ice cream tote for a little while, I mean, not super long, but they were in there for a while, but that's a little one. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this one over to here. And thank you, Mom, for moving that over. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to that one. Now, I'm trying to only catch one at a time, but if I catch two, it's not that big of a deal. It would actually be faster on the filming and everything. Go on, little shrimpy, go on. You can tell a couple of these are really good, really formation. Again, I don't want to, you know, I am trying to keep a lot of those for, you see that one, that's like really good, really. Really good, huh, huh. Since these are carbon really shrimp. But I am trying to speed this long because I don't think it should take that long, but I don't want to be like 20 minute video of me just catching shrimps. So I might cut some of this out. I might not. We'll see what happens, how long the video is and how engaging it is. Go ahead if you have any questions to go ahead and put them down below in the comment section. And this, they were in this container, as I was saying earlier before I got distracted. 
for a couple weeks. I was supposed to do this a few Mondays ago, but I, or two Mondays ago, I think. Not this past Monday, but the Monday before. But I didn't get the chance. So there is a little bit of poop in this container that I'm trying not to let in anything else, but yeah, there's full of shrimps. Mm -hmm. Great. Come on, little guy. That's the fifth shrimp there. I am using a designated fish or well, shrimp net. It's supposed to be good for like if you have brine shrimp that you need to catch or anything else. I got it from my local fish store as well, so supporting them in more ways than one. I actually got some moss yesterday when I picked up the bags because I needed some for my polydariums. Which you, if you want to check that out, it was my first Saturday special. Taking apart the 20 gallon hats to prepare for making the three polydariums. Now this shrimp is being a pain in the bouquet. Typically some people might just invert the net. Given we're dealing with shrimps, I kind of don't want to do that. But I am not seeing much option right now. Plus now, if there's any poop that was in the net, it is now in that container. So that is five shrimps. We're going to the next one. I'm trying to keep this moving so that it stresses out the shrimps the least possible, least amount possible. And of course, when I shrimp stress, I tend to stress. So that one's more like a blueberry shrimp, I guess, but doesn't really have strong really formation. But these all mixed grades, they're not all going to be super release. I am trying to get to that point in selectively breeding them. I have some in my 50 tall with the otosynthesis and the guppy fry that somehow got in there. And that should be three if I'm keeping tabs in my mind correctly. As I'm might have mentioned already there are some calls in here which I would not be catching that are not as colorful the thing is with shrimps there's not a lot of like definitive answers out there as far as like what makes a call a call some have suggested it's based on the density of the stocking and that seems to be correct because I have moved some of my carbon relays that I thought were calls from the 10 gallon that they used to be in to the 75 gallon before it became a guppy planted tank and lo and behold there was a lot more coloration on the shrimps after they were out of the 10 gallon so it seems to support the idea that some of it might be related to stocking density Though I'm not 100% on that theory, but it does seem to be fairly supportive. Again, don't prefer to do this, but certain cases it is necessary. Now I'm hoping I have 20 in here. Looking a little thin right now. That's two in there. We have 17 right now that we're going to be packing up. This one should be 18. Okay, there is 19 at least in here. We might be able to catch one more. So that's 18 total shrimps, three in that one. Getting close to the finish line, so just stick with me here. That one looks decent. It's not fully colored up, I don't think, but it looks like a decent, really, shrimp. So we're going to go ahead and put him in here. That's 20. Should be five in each one. And to double check that, I'm simply going to quickly lift up the moss in each one.
spiky tail. Yeah. There was three in there, and it looks like two were stuck in the moss. That's why, if you look at my Shrimp Sunday video a couple weeks ago, I recommend dunking the moss and whatever decorations you have in there. Five in that one. Okay. There's five in that one, and it should be five in this one. Now, the moss I have in here is just assorted mosses. I kind of got them all mixed up. Yep, there's five. I got them all mixed up when I was... Yeah, I got them all mixed up when I was going through a phase while in college of where I was trying to move stuff around. And I didn't exactly keep track of my mosses that well. So... Those are just assorted mosses, some's peacock, I have had weeping moss, I have had... Can't remember the other mosses. I have had other mosses, but again, I don't know exactly which one's which. So, I do have some more assorted mosses in my... Other 10 gallon shrimp tanks that I'm going to be taking care of. And I'm going to be trying to culture to see what mosses I have. Right now I'm just trying to pull this into here without making too much of a mess. What? Is it? Yeah, we're trying to get the other end. That might actually be enough. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know. Now, if you have not already, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am doing better with Twitter. I'm not still not super active or super consistent on that, but I am doing a lot better than I was before. So basically, if you don't have very far to take these, since I'm taking them by car to my local fish store, I'm just gonna grab it like that, and that should be enough oxygen for them. A lot of people suggest shipping these in breather in breather bags, the cold on breather bags, but it's my first time, it's not going very far, so I'm not super concerned with getting it exactly right. Like I want to get it right, but I'm not concerned with shipping cross country. I'm gonna go ahead and probably eh, the only thing I'm not decided on is if I want to tie it off, or if I want to just rub a band. People do recommend putting two rubber bands on in case one breaks, since these are kind of thin. If you only have thin ones, I would recommend actually you know, between three and four, just to make sure, but I'm only gonna put two because again, they're only gonna go in a short distance. And that should be good. Shrimps don't have very high bio load, so they don't need a whole lot of air or anything, but that should be enough for them in there. Now people do also recommend double bagging in case one of them is leaking, which unfortunately I only got four, and of course, I have four cups. So I'm not going to double bag this time, but typically I would try to, and once I get my own bags, I will be double bagging to ship and stuff. It always helps to have a second pair of eyes when you're doing this type of thing, if, especially if you're doing it on camera because, well, yeah. There we go. I'm finding, just for the moment, observation, I'm finding it's easier to I'm finding it's easier to 
rotate the cup a little bit so that the moss doesn't stick on there and everything comes off easily from that point. It's just what I'm finding. It doesn't necessarily, it might not hold true to you. Your mileage may vary, as some would say, but that's just what I'm finding to be the case with me. Again, this is not a how-to video. It's just my experiences with doing stuff. That's all my channel is about, really. Not a how-to, it's just basically, hey, this is what I'm doing this week, and this is what I can tell you about this, and yeah. The reason I'm only doing, like, I'm not doing how-tos as I am. <coughs> Sorry, my voice was still doing weird stuff. But basically, I'm still a novice, so I don't want to be that guy who gives out bad advice. Once I get more experience, I have been keeping fish for about five years, but I haven't done a whole lot of buying, shipping, etc. So, don't exactly have the most experience to try to suggest and advise people on what to do. Nets five shrimps down in this bag. What time are we on, Mom? Uh, not too long. Maybe a 20 minute video. Hope you guys stick around to the end, and if you have, go ahead and put Scrimp Cell. That is S K R I N T S A L E. We are near the end. I might, actually I don't think I'm going to film it while I'm in the local fish store because I'm not sure how they would take it. If they have customers, I'm not going to be able to do that anyhow. So, I'm not going to film that. So this will basically be it once I get this next bag done. So go ahead and put shrimp cell in the comments below if you've watched it to the end. So far my average view duration is about 2 minutes and 57 seconds. I think it was, I looked this morning, my previous period was 2 minutes and 55 seconds, so it's went up by 2 seconds, which is great, thank you all so much. If you want to join the crowd fan, by the way, that is what I'm kind of calling everyone, my whole group and followers and everything. If you want to join the crowd fan, since I am specializing in crabs, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to stay if you want to get notifications of all my videos and join the notification squad if not that's fine too as long as you you know subscribe and watch my videos i don't mind if you join the notification squad but if you have liked this so far go ahead and hit that like button i do have a live stream on thursdays for my business thursdays i have fishy fridays Saturday specials, Shrimp Sundays, and Krabby Mondays. Because who isn't Krabby on Mondays, right guys? So go ahead and join the Crab Fan by hitting the subscribe button. And after I get this in there and close up this bag, I'll see you guys later. There's a little bit of moss on this thing right here. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to try to culture the moss or what they're going to do with the moss. But shrimps like to hold on, so that's why I'm including some moss. That way hopefully they don't get too stressed with the trip. It's only a few miles away, but you know, it is what it is. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to. And I do much appreciate the subscribers I've been gaining. There's going to be more on that. Actually, there have been more on that in yesterday's video, the Saturday special. I do appreciate all of you guys who subscribe, who like, who share, and interact with all of my content. I do much appreciate it. And I guys, hope you guys have a great week. And I hope you guys join the crowd fam. Peace out, guys. Have a great week.